Welcome to the second part of my playthrough of Bastion. Last episode, we were introduced to the main protagonist, the kid. He woke up in the middle of a world falling apart. After some struggle, the kid fought his way to a big floating fortress called the Bastion. And this is where the story will continue. Kid ponders what to build. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. Kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. Kid ain't ever seen an elephant squirt before. He'll never see one again. They say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tamed. Squirts don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful in a pinch. No sign of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. Them squirts just don't know when to quit. He heads for the biggest dump in town. Scumbag Alley. Some scumbag still feeding off the city's own trash. And there he is. The oldest scumbag of them all. Gershel. The calamity ain't done much for Gershel's sunny disposition. They always said old Gershel wouldn't go without a fight. No core, no surprise. Likely gas fellas are hiding it from him. Up north is where the gas fella foreman used to live, tending to his flock. Gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. And there it is. But it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. A blustery old foreman was keeping his fellas in check. Almost like he's showboating for the crowd. And now there's a new marshal in town. the whole place grown, but it's too tough to fall. Might as well check the other side streets before leaving this hole. He heads for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. The kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where he started. Inside the forge, 
he can fine tune those instruments of his. The sail hammer's only as strong as its spine. That's a strong spine. comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack, the monuments calling for it. The windbags used to be all right, then the calamity took the floor out from under him. Kid does it again, only fair he decides what we build next. The calamity saved some of my old books. Guess it's got a sense of humor. The Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. Shitty. Every bit as effective as the fancier stuff. The little Zolwood oil on that blade shines like a light. Never would have pegged the kid as the bookish type. much to say. And that concludes the second part of this playthrough. Stay tuned for the third part coming up soon enough, because I can hardly keep my hands off this game. And of course, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below.